Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today's topic is carbohydrate which is one of the biomolecule. Carbohydrate term is derived from the Greek word which means uh, sugar. As you all know that the uh, carbohydrate is classified into monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide. That saccharide is the Greek word and uh, that carbohydrate is derived from the saccharide which meaning sugar. If you want to define the carbohydrate, we will be defining it on the basis of biochemistry. So chemically, carbohydrate are defined as the polyhydroxy compound with at least three carbon essentially containing uh, active carbonyl carbon, either that of aldehyde or ketone means all the carbohydrate will be having hydroxy uh, groups as well as they contain the functional group which is aldehyde or ketone. Another definition is polyhydroxy compound that contain carbonyl group. Another definition is organic compound composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. It means that the, as the name is indicate carbohydrate, carbo for the carbon hydrates from the water. So water contain oxygen and the hydrogen, but it, uh, the carbohydrate also contain nitrogen and other element. So a uh, few example or the simplest carbohydrate are the glucose and fructose. You know that uh, the glucose contain functional group aldehyde as shown in the figure, whereas fructose contain functional group that is of the ketone. You can see according to definition, hydroxy group are present in the glucose in carbon number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, in the fructose, the hydroxyl group is present on the 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is a polyhydroxy containing the functional group aldehyde and ketone. What is polyhydroxy? Poly means many, hydroxy means hydroxyl group. What is the functional group? As the name is indicated, it which gives the function to the or the responsible for the activity of the compound. It is a specific group of atom and uh, which are part of larger hydrocarbon change responsible for the chemical behavior for carbohydrate the functional group is aldehyde and ketone so the misleading concept is that the carbohydrates are hydrates of carbon hydrates means that the uh, carbohydrate contain as the same ratio as that of the oxygen that is two ratio one two hydrogen one oxygen but this is not true for all the carbohydrate it is true for most of the carbohydrate like glucose fructose ket uh, ribose but it is not correct uh, for some carbohydrates such as ribose no sorry deoxyribose deoxyribose contain hydrogen 10 but oxygen is 4 which is not correct that it is not the ratio that, that is not the two ratio one so we cannot define carbohydrate that it is a hydrates of carbon. We can say that the many carbohydrates are the hydrates of carbon, but not all. So if we see the structure of fructose, there are some similarities and some are different. Similarity is the there are polyhydroxy or the many hydroxyl group are present. Difference is that the functional group is different. Uh, in case of glucose, it is aldehyde. In case of uh, fructose, it is ketone. Some of the importance of the carbohydrate, it is energy source, the const it constituents of the compound lipid and the uh, protein. It means that the carbohydrates can be converted into the protein and lipid in the human body depending upon the requirement. If body do not have the lipid from the diet source, the carbohydrate can be converted into the lipid or the proteins. Degradative product act as a promoter or catalyst means that the carbohydrate even if they are degraded, they are used to as a catalyst or to increase of the reaction or the promoter. For example, like the cows, the waste product of cow is used in the plants to promote their growth. So that waste degraded product is used as a promoter. Same with the carbohydrate in our body. Certain carbohydrate derivatives are used as a drug uh, like cardiac glycoside which is an antibiotic which is used in the cardiac patient. Glyco means that it is a carbohydrate. Lacto principal sugar uh, in the lactating mother, lactating mammary gland, lactose is also carbohydrate. Degradation product utilize 
for the synthesis of other substances such as fatty acid cholesterol minus it. this point is again repeated from the, the from the second point that the uh, carbohydrate are broken down and can be utilized into the formation of fatty acid lipid cholesterol lipid and amino acid protein so we will be discussing this point in the next semester that how by the metabolism by the breakdown of the carbohydrate that uh, uh, glucose converted into acetyl coa then acetyl coa can be converted into the fats fatty acid if the body require fat rather than the glucose okay the constituent of mucopolysaccharide which form the ground substance of the myosin camel tissue so this importance we will be discussing in the polysaccharides that what are mucopolysaccharide the the, the dis diseases related to carbohydrate one of the disease is the galactosemia other is the glycogen storage disease and the lactose intolerance in these diseases certain enzyme in the metabolic pathway are deficit means the if certain enzymes are not present in the, inside the body like for example in the galactosemia the there is a deficiency of the galactose why due to the absence of the enzyme similarly glycogen storage disease means in those people glycogen cannot be stored lactose intolerance in these people the people cannot consume milk and the pathological condition related to it is the diabetes mellitus which is a deficiency of insulin due to the deficiency of insulin glucose remain in the blood which is commonly uh, also called as the sugar thank you for uh, now we will be discussing rest of the topic in the next lecture allah hafiz